Hello and welcome, Virgo. My name is Dragu. I live at the base of Mount Shasta, born and raised in beautiful Mount Shasta, California. Your first oracle card for this reading is Feminine. Take the necessary time to study and meditate before executing your project. Perhaps ask a feminine or maternal figure for advice. Your second oracle card for this reading is Subconscious. This card is directly influenced by the moon. The psychic dimension is also in contact with all the aspects that come from collectiveness and with the primary, innate, and archetypal aspects that originate in the world of emanations. Trust your intuition, even if this seems to counter reason and rationality. All right, Virgo, I'm going to do a 12-card reading for you. I also have uh, private readings available on my website, draguartworks.com. The link is in the description. I do a similar card spread to this. Um, you can ask a question or um, whatever you want. You can ask for a love reading, a general reading, career, whatever you want. And um, then I upload a video of my reading for you to YouTube and send you the link. That's how I fulfill and they're only $15 right now. Virgo, your first card is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles says that you're enjoying fulfilling work. It's satisfying. Um, you may be learning a new skill and trying to master a new skill. You're um, making your life better by expanding your skill set, basically. Um, but you're not afraid of hard work and you are dedicated to your craft. Your next card is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups says that you've got uh, a hankering for nostalgia, past memories, childhood. Um, could be a homecoming, like a home family reunion or something like that. Reconnecting with childhood friends could be high school reunion, past lover, um, reminiscing through memories. Um, other than that, it could be just a harmony and cooperation in your current relationship and you're in touch with your inner child. Um, this card also stands for pregnancy, conception, and um, also kids in general and um one thing this card always reminds me of is um how present and in the moment children are um and that's a good uh thing to see as an older person um we kind of get out of touch and forget that we're either thinking about the past or worried about the future i mean one or the other and uh kids are a great example of how to be present and happy in the moment Your next card is the Four of Swords Reversed. The Four of Swords Reversed is a powerful message that you need to take some time out for rest and relaxation. Um, you could be close to exhaustion. You've been working really, really hard. Um, you don't want to burn yourself out. Uh, maybe you need to withdraw from the busy world and retreat within. You may be restless. Your mind may be racing. Um, you need to kind of slow that down. Utilize some meditation to get your monkey mind under control if it's uh, making you, causing anxiety and making you uh, kind of jittery. Your next card is the Empress Reversed. The Empress Reversed talks about self-love and self-care is a priority for you now you need to rest and recharge just goes right hand in hand with this one uh ground yourself in nature you could be undergoing kind of a creative block um you're trying to bring forth a new idea 
or a new way of expressing part of yourself. And you could be having a block or an obstacle in that um, where you can't quite get that out. Um, utilize self-acceptance. This could also be um, being a mother, but taking the mothering role too far in that um, you're getting overprotective and controlling and even codependent in that relationship. Your next card is the Hierophant. The Hierophant says that you follow an established set of spiritual values and beliefs, uh, formal religion or establishment or institution. This could be where you work. Uh, it could be like Harvard Law School or, or something like that, you know. Or, or it could be something within the church or uh, some type of a higher learning place. Um, you could be following a teacher or a mentor, or you could be a teacher or a mentor to people who are learning these formal doctrines. Um, you follow convention and um, you don't like to stray outside this, which is fine. Um, this card is telling you that you need to kind of commit to a, more of a spiritual practice that maybe your spiritual practice has kind of gone by the wayside as you pursue other aspects of the material world and, um, that it would help you to get in touch with this. Um, maybe you could join a group or something like that, a uh, Bible study or, um, something like that, that would help kind of bring that into your, um, uh, life on a schedule on a on a daily basis it's asking you to include connection to the divine prayer meditation into your daily life and to make time for that just to keep a balance the next card is the two of cups reversed the Two of Cups Reverse says uh, you need to employ some self-love and care. Accept and appreciate who you are. The Empress kind of says the, said the same thing here. Um, make sure that you give yourself self-respect. If you don't, you become clingy and attached and attract the wrong kinds of situations. And that can be a dangerous thing. Um, this could also mean a breakup or falling out in a relationship or partnership and a lack of trust between two people. The Ten of Swords. Okay, something happened here. Somebody kind of screwed you over is what it's looking like. Um, this could be an abrupt end to a relationship job cut, contract broken, uh, somebody stabbed you in the back, you're a victim of deceit or betrayal. Try not to take on the victim role in this. Um, try to, I know this is really hard and very painful, try to let go of this situation and accept the current circumstances. People change, you know. They've got their own reasons for doing so. People change, they, they do what they do. And um, it's hard when they do because they don't even think about what they're doing to you. They're only thinking about really themselves. So um, try not to <clears throat> let this ruin your life or turn you into a victim mentality because you don't want to do that because then you're kind of stuck there forever. You don't really want that. Um, try to look around when you can, when you can get your head up out of your hands and look around. Um, look for other options. That doesn't mean to jump into another relationship or anything. It just means uh, look around and see if there's some things that you can put this energy into in a positive way and get away from this negative stuff. That's that's not good. Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody definitely betrayed you. Um... This is kind of like the cheating card. If you're in a relationship that somebody may have cheated on you, um, it, it stands for theft. 
betrayal, deception, trickery, kind of premeditated trickery. Um, you're a victim of this betrayal or you're the one doing it, which you're probably not the one doing it, but you could be. Um, if you're the victim of this betrayal, put yourself first and try to escape from this person, whoever's doing this. You don't want to be around a person like this. This, this is, they're just no good. That's terrible. Okay. The page of pentacles. The page of pentacles says that you're tapping into your ability to manifest a personal goal or dream. This is like an initial motivation and the energy to begin a new, um, quest or a new project, a new idea type of thing. Try to make yourself a clear plan and achievable steps to bring this to fruition, whatever it, it may be. Your next card is the Five of Cups. Yeah, this guy really threw you for a loop here. Um, the Five of Cups is regret, failure, disappointment. Um, stuck in the past and you can't let go. You feel like you're a victim of circumstances. Your negative emotions are holding you back from moving on. Um, you'll, you'll have to just accept that this is what happened. Uh, don't be in denial about it. Just accept it. Forgive if you can. Um, I have a hard time forgiving people when they do something like this. I, I don't really believe in that. That's more of like a Christian thing, forgive and forget. Um, I'm not able to do that. I, I think that once people do something like that, it's um, I won't ever have anything to do with them again. It's just um, not something that is very nice to do to other people. And I also think if you forgive and forget and you're all nice, then you kind of are justifying their actions and saying it's okay what you did, even though they did this to you. And I don't think that's okay. In my opinion, that's not okay. Um, forgive if you, if you can accept the situation. And most of all, forgive yourself because don't beat yourself up over something like this. This just, this type of stuff just happens between people. It just happens, you know, whether you want to blame or cause yourself a bunch of guilt or not. It, the matter of fact is it just does happen. So look around again for new opportunities and possible options. Change your focus from the victim mentality and um, going over and over it in your head and hearing all the things over and over again. That doesn't help anything. I mean, it's good to see, look back and see what happened, but you don't want to live here. You don't want to take up residence here. This is not a good place to be. This is a miserable place to be. So as soon as you can, try to just um, change the channel, put it out of your mind and um, replace it with something more positive because this is, this is really hard. And the stress and tension are not good for you mentally or physically. You can make yourself really sick by living here. So don't do that. Um, <clears throat> as soon as you can move on out of there it, it's just life, you know? Okay. Your next card is the nine of stars. Wow. This has really thrown you for a loop. Holy cow. <clears throat> okay. The nine of swords is nightmares, deep inner turmoil. It's a downward spiral, despair, anxiety, and, um, when it's reversed, it kind of says that you're making more out of it um, than it really is. In other words, you're kind of being a drama queen about it. Um, I know it has affected you deeply, but like I said, you have to put a stop to that. Um, you have to move on. And um, it, you're kind of making a mountain out of a molehill. That's what the old folks used to say around here. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. And when you look back on this, it, it's not going to seem that big. It's going to be a kind of a bump in the road. I mean, it won't be ever be pleasant, but um, you can really make yourself not well by living in these places. So um, maybe search out some help and support if you're kind of stuck here. 
um, try to get a new perspective on it or try to get a new perspective on just other aspects of your life. And just like I said, change the channel away from this. This is not a good place to be. The good news is though, since the nine of swords is reversed, even though it's, you know, turmoil and downward spiral and anxiety and despair and all that stuff, it does mean that it's coming to an end. You're already in recovery from this. You're being too hard on yourself. So cut yourself some slack. Let yourself recover. Um, you know that saying, time heals all wounds. I don't think it heals all wounds, but it does make it not as painful. So hang in there. You're, you're, you're going to be better soon. You're in recovery. Just think that. I'm recovering from this now. I'm going to be okay. And then try to look for other things that make you happy. You should be happy. Be happy. You should. And your last card is the star. The star is like your spirit guide. The star or like an angel that is guiding you on your way. Um, this is a welcome reprieve after destruction and turmoil, which you have gone through. Um, the star will give you a new sense of self. Renewed hope and faith. That's exactly what you need right now. Um, the best way to kind of change the channel away from this, count your blessings, right? There, you probably heard that saying, count your blessings, not your problems. Hard, but um, it does help. This is going on to a peaceful, loving phase in your life. And when you look back on this, you're probably going to be really happy that all this crap is gone, that whoever did all this to you and caused all these problems at least you're not having to go through this emotional roller coaster anymore because that's never fun the star is a sign of personal growth and development the star will also guide you to find a new sense of meaning inspiration and purpose in your life Tying back to this, um, we've got feminine and the subconscious. Um, the subconscious says to kind of use your intuition to guide you through all this as well. Um, and the divine feminine can help you with that also. Um, the subconscious says listen to your dreams. Maybe um, pay attention to your gut instincts. Uh, pay attention to your feelings. Go with your feelings. Um, even though your feelings may seem like they're kind of all over the place and off the chart right now. Um, look at it. When you have a feeling arise, look at it and say, wait, is this valid or am I just being um, reactive? You know, because you don't want to just be reactively having feelings and um, jumping the gun and doing crazy stuff. Because you're sort of, since you're already exhausted and tired over here from working and everything, and then you have to go through this, you may do some kind of impulsive and wrong, silly things that you don't mean to that you may regret later. So make sure that you pay attention to your intuition, your feelings, your gut, um, Look at your feelings before you act on them as they arise. Look up and go, am I just really tired and having a horrible day? Or is this really something I need to follow? And you'll know the difference. You will know. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your reading for this week. I enjoyed doing it for you. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you would be so kind if you enjoyed this content. And um, I will be back next week with another reading for you. And I hope everything gets better. It looks like it will. And hang in there and um, have a wonderful day if you can. Thanks so much.